Hello boys, girls, and bees. I'm Senpai, welcome to my channel. Today we have another B First member introduction. Today we are going to be learning about the B First member Shinto. So we learned about Sota last time. And yeah, so now we are going to be learning about Shinto from um B First. So yeah, if you do end up enjoying this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and join the community that we're trying to build on this channel. Showing support on this video, just let me know that you guys would like to see me do videos on the rest of B First. I'm getting to know the rest of the members. Also, and I definitely, if you do show support, and if you have not subscribed, and you do subscribe, um, then I will definitely do videos on the next be first our members as well so uh yeah so let's get into checking out and learning the member of be first shinto Shinto. Hi. Shinto's journey. あなたはさらに高いレベルで揉まれることで大輪の花を咲かせるということを確信していますその瞬間が見れることを楽しみにしながらもちろん現段階での技術だったり表現力だったりも申し分ないので Oh my god, it's the same age as me. Oh my god. Ah, I feel old. That, ah. Oh wait, wait, I'm not that. So he's January 1st, 2023? Uh, 2023, what the fuck's wrong with me? Uh, 2003. They say he's born in the same year as me. I'm old. <laughs> well, I'm not, okay, I'm not old, but you know. um, well, He's older than I am, but like, a couple, well, he, he's older than me. He's older than me. Started learning dance when he was around five and singing when he was around six because he thought that pe the people doing it on TV were cool. You see, so, yeah, they are quite young then, a lot of them. Um, for so I uh, maybe Sky High really was trying to like look into maybe younger ta like new like new talent. Thought he wanted to become an artist in his fifth grade when he appeared in Triple A's 10th anniversary special outdoor live as a backup dancer and saw a pro artist live for the first time. Attended Artist Academy. Okay. God damn it. And was active in various training units. So, so he was in like, yeah, like 13. Was also part of a grand tick. Okay, so he's been like around the block. He's been like really trying then. After the initial screening, the 12 selected members, including Shinto, were active in a template group called a Gantic from around April, August 2000. How many members are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Down. Oh, seven members were selected at the end to perform the final group. Oh, okay, so it wasn't, it wasn't 12 people. Oh, Shinto wasn't chosen then. Was going for a love time during the two years before the first. なんか。ずっと毎週毎週泣いて。正直。
頑張ればいいのかも死人にわかんないから言ったんですけど、uh. Before he had no talent and didn't like his own voice, he had no, conf had no confidence for the audition was held by the other members in Sky High. I mean, I think, like it, I think it really, um, you know, really shows, like, he, like, people, you know, people, it's like, even though he's, you know, puff, gone to, like, a lot of auditions and done, honestly, at his age, you know, quite a lot of accomplishments and really performing and, you know, to some extent, having validation from people in, in, in telling him that, like, hey, like, you, that there is, so you have something, and also, I don't, I, I feel like, um, you're saying, like, oh, I have no talent or whatever, I don't really believe in that, because I feel like, necess I don't, I don't really think it's necessarily, quote-unquote, talent, obviously, talent, um, get, you know, talent matters to a certain extent, but I feel like what truly matters is the hard work that he put in, right? Because the only way that you can improve is to work hard and is to put the work in. You can have talent take you so far, but the people that actually go the furthest are the ones who put the work in, you know? Only talent can take you so far. Only natural talent can take you so far, but you're never going to progress any further if you don't actually have that passion and have that hard work and that dedication. And I feel like, you know, people say they don't have talent. I feel like it, it's a way of them saying they're afraid. You know, I feel like it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, you know, it's being scared, you know, um, saying that, like, oh, I, I feel like I don't have the talent, I feel like is, in my eyes, just another way of saying that you don't have confidence in yourself and that you're afraid. Because, to be honest, I feel like, um, you know, when you say, like, oh, you know, I'm not talented enough to do this. Well, the point is, you know, everybody, to a certain extent, isn't, like, amazing. Yeah, maybe there are those, like, special select people that just try out a new thing and you know, sing for the first time and it's like an angel, but most people aren't like that. There are 100% singers and artists who did not sound angelic and amazing when they first started. If you want to sing, go and, you know, go to a singing, go get singing lessons or just practice and if you put the hard work in, no matter, like, you know, no matter what, to a certain extent, you're going to improve. You know, in a hypothetical sense, you know, like, with these videos I make, the more videos I make, the better I get in every video I make. Even if it's the most minuscule of things, if it's the most minuscule of improvements and changes, I'm still getting better and improving on the video. You know, I'm like, the, uh, even like the smallest amount of things, I'm still getting better. And with Shinto, even though he felt like, you know, he isn't getting better, just doing it every day, every week, and doing, going to those lessons and putting that, that hard work in, even if it's unconscious, hammering in on those skills and, con you know, being consistent in practicing on those skills is improving, that is you developing your skills further and taking them further, even if you personally don't see it, just, you know, because obviously if you don't work on the skills you have, eventually they're gonna wear off, if you stay consistent and you work hard on it, you, that, 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 that is still improvement, right, and I feel like, um, I really, I feel like that's something that I really, um, have respect for Sky High, is that he's really seemed, he's really seemed like, um, you know, instead of trying to find, like, all the established artists to, um, make a group out of, he found young talent that I feel like Sky High 
saw potential in, he saw young talent that he believed in, that he felt like maybe they haven't reached their potential yet. And I feel like younger talent in that sense who maybe haven't had their, you know, haven't had a shot yet, you know, um, hasn't, haven't been given a chance within the industry yet. I think those people are going to be the ones to really work the hardest and those really are the ones who are going to reach greater heights because they have so much to give like so so much to give and that's why i feel like i really do respect um sky high especially the fact that he's an older you know an older artist somebody someone like you know kind of like a a big brother that i feel like they can look up to somebody that's been in the industry for a long time and as an older artist who's kind of been through those things and i feel like as an artist himself he can probably relate to how shinto's feeling and really help him through those feelings and then through those emotions and also i think it's really healthy the fact that he felt comfortable enough in shelling those feelings to everybody else um, there it kind of shows the bond that they have and also um i i 100 would think that um some of them would feel the same and also some of the audience like i i understand how he feels and a lot of us understand how he feels and it's very human and it's very understandable at his age because i'm the same age like i get it i understand you know i'm literally the same age as him so i, I get that i understand that you know um love this stuff 僕自身すごい自信がを unique space, unique spice to any, wait, he has a one-of-a-kind voice that is deep and addictive and adds a unique spice to any song, whether singing or rapping. The gap between him and offstage is his charm. Oh, damn! Yo, he's sick! The hell he- I, I love- you. I, I love that. He's kind of- I feel like he's kind of, um, what do you call those kinds of people that, you know, when they- when they're on stage, they, like, transform. Like, he has this- this confidence, and that resonates, and, like, if you, you know, if you feel like- when, like, you look at him, you feel like, what- you, you know, and he talks about being, like, um, you know, having confident issues, like, a lot of people are like, huh? Like, what? Like, really? You know, I feel like it's, it's one of those things, maybe it's, like, um, he- he's really- he's really afraid, um, getting onto the stage when he finally gets onto that stage then he kind of just transforms you know like damn but he, he has a really amazing voice though wow oh my god he's got some like raspiness there too like a growl oh my god it's the type that is nervous for a performance yeah Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that's kind of what I meant. Yeah, it's kind of what I meant by what I said. That is the type that's nervous for a performance that ends up being the one that has the most fun on stage. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what, that's basically what I said, um, what I gauged him as. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely shy to be honest Fifth, five out of seven of beef was actually shy but he's come a long way since his first or just like introverts like introverted i guess um in 2019 <laughs>
now join the first. That said, he's still pretty shy at the beginning of the first and first, but he was able to gradually open up to everyone now has a family and be first. Well, I mean, I feel like. Um, also, just like, you know, getting interviewed and just like being on camera could also just be like, you know, at first, a intimidating thing. Because also, like, being a, you know, performing on stage does not mean having a camera in your face and some like, and having a cameraman interview you, you know, it's not that, like, he's probably not, he probably is not, was not used to that at first. So, like, it's understandable. He could be a bit, ner a bit shy or nervous. Like, it's understandable, you know? Um, that makes sense to me. Can take on an older brother responsibility role necessary. He has three younger siblings, two brothers, and one sister. He's also serious and focused during practice. Sota says that Shinto is more serious than anyone else. But, uh, is anyone else about going for the world with B first? Anyone else about the going for the world with B first? But normally he's super cringy and and he gets to B since he's the second youngest in B first. But someone younger than him? Damn. Yeah, this is group's pretty young then. <laughs> Loves hugs, has zero sense of distance, and is almost all over someone. It kind of shows how, you know, shows how close they are together, which is, I think that's nice. Can pretty much get away with anything because of how cute he is. I, I just think Japanese TV is so weird. Like, what? Like, what is the background of this interviewer? Like, is this a TV set? Like, what is this? This is a TV set? It looks like a grandma's home. I don't... I don't... I don't know. Is, is this... Is this... Is this actually a TV set? Like, background? Are they on a TV set? And not planning on stopping anytime soon. <laughs> I mean, that's still a long time. <laughs> Loves food and eating. Is it a rice ball? <laughs> Becomes extremely low energy when he's hungry.
He just doesn't even think he's paying attention. <laughs> and he'll peek up immediately in the presence of food. Well, I mean, I, I feel like as a dancer, right, you, you need you need energy, right? Describes himself as extremely lazy and the type doesn't do things he finds bothersome and doesn't want to do. I don't, I don't know about that. If he if he's lazy and I'm fucking the laziest person in the world, then... One hour later... Oh god, that, that was actually kind of looks scabbery. Well, I mean, I'm an actual ghost, like a part of haunted houses or whatever. So trying to claim he's not scared of haunted houses, like this wasn't captured on camera, but sure Shinto if you say so. Well, you know, maybe, maybe this is only one haunted house, you know. Maybe maybe there's like you know, maybe this is the only haunted house he's been scared of. He has a competitive side. <laughs> <laughs> Looks down on his seniors. I don't mean this in a bad way. That does, ki that does kind of sound like in a bad way. <laughs> I don't think it means like, like literally like looking down on them in like the, the bad sense, I guess. <laughs> Likes manga, anime, taking naps, and skateboarding. Pretty based. It's like a koala. He thinks of himself as a sloth, though. A koala. The first member, the audition in the country, 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 the audition in the <laughs> okay, I, I feel like, I feel like it seems like maybe really what, um, got people, like, you know, people really resonate with the members of, uh, of this group is that they feel like, they, they, they feel very, like, raw in the sense of, like, they feel like just genuine people. They feel very genuine in the sense of, like, I don't think that all, like, industry artists, industry people, they are young, you know, they, they, they are young, they are young guys who have been given an opportunity by Sky High, and in, and in that sense, they're very grounded, um, just, you know, they, they can be seen as just, like, a normal person, not in the, not in the sense that, like, um, you know, uh, not not in the sense of like you know you said like oh yeah not other groups have like normal people that if you are in the industry or you're privileged or whatever you can't be seen as a normal person but just in in the sense of like their own experiences um their own struggles i feel like them just being very open about those struggles um where essentially it feels like where they came from they feel like pretty grounded people um, especially even, like, um, some of them who necessarily, you know, did find some success, because I feel like with, uh, 
Shota Some people, I feel like, young people, like people my age, could have the experiences that he had, and you know, people would look at him being, you know, being in that, you know, getting through the all those auditions of a Gantic and like the other things like that, um, and they would say that that's success at his age, like, and take that and and have some sort of ego and have some sort of you know um thinking that you're better than other people but he seems you know to obviously not be like that i'm not saying obviously everybody's like that but i'm just saying that people my age i think teenagers essentially very much so can take i feel like success at a young age and be entitled about it and have a sense of entitlement and have a sense of like feeling like you're better than other people maybe and that could be essentially because um you know you you haven't had as much life experience as other people and that i mean obviously older people can be entitled kind of like ego also but i just feel like um sometimes um it's more it's 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 seen at you people get more leniency being like my age being like you know, a teenager or being like a young adult and kind of having that sense of like egotistic being egotistical having entitlement because you're, you're younger but it's oh, okay you know you'll grow out of it or this person will learn you know um and so it's seen as you know as not as bad necessarily but uh, yeah I, but i think people seem to like um, like be first and like the group and, and I essentially like these people too because they feel you know I feel like I can relate to them I feel like a lot of people can relate to them and can relate to their struggles and that they do they do seem very humble and like genuinely just normal people and I think that essentially um really does make a very grounded and relatable group. I think relatability is a strong asset to have as a group, you know. It seems like, you know, they're just talented, um, kind people, you know, talented people that have been working hard that were given an opportunity by Sky High, you know, um, and they seem very thankful for that opportunity. They don't, don't ta you know, they're not taking being in B first for granted. It's not like they're you know not, not taking this opportunity for granted. And I think that's something that I I respect about them. I have respect for them um for the members that I've kind of seen so far and Sky High as well. But I can see why people really like the um the members in this group because they do feel very genuine. They feel grounded. They feel like relatable people that you can relate to the struggles they went through, um, and it shows vulnerability, and I think it shows strength in the fact that, um, Shint Shinto isn't afraid to express the fact that he isn't confident in himself, and it is, like, it, it takes strength to talk about that on TV, you know, to talk about that in the public eye, and, you know, because sometimes I feel like somebody in his shoes would be told to, you know, hey, like, don't show vulnerability. Um, you need to, you know, you know, when you're on stage and you're, you're cool and you have this presence, ca carry on that presence on um, interviews and on camera. I feel like um, some industry people would tell certain artists to do that and, like, keep up a certain, like, like you know, um facade but um i think it, it shows genuine strength to be able to be vulnerable and for him to show vulnerability i think that takes a lot of strength in my eyes and that's really respectable in my eyes that he was really able to yeah show show vulnerability and say hey like i'm not a hundred percent confident in myself and even if I'm in B first, I'm an artist, and I'm successful, it does not mean that I don't also, you know, I'm not also scared of things, I'm not also afraid of things, and I don't also go through 
these sort of emotions myself, which I think is really respectable. But yeah, um, I, I really enjoyed, uh, yeah, checking out, uh, Shinto. I, I, he seems like a, he seems like a, a really nice, um, guy. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and join the community that we're trying to this channel. If you'd like to see, um, me do a video on the next member of Be Fast, I'm definitely to consider showing support on this video. If you did enjoy this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and join the community that we're trying to this channel. Please do consider subscribing if you have not subscribed for more Be Fast videos. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.